Welcome, welcome, welcome to Living 757. Yes. Glad to see you guys again. Glad to see you ladies again. Welcome back. Glad to, back, glad to, back. Glad to yes. be back. Get off of this smooth thrift <laughs> store jacket. Oh, we're so happy you, to you see you. I know you don't like it. No, 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 no I love it. What, what's on? I'm going to pop some tags. Oh, no, I am not, no, 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 you know, and now I got people in my ear talking about, yes, I am frugal, <laughs> but I'm not going to sing that How song. How are you, Quincy? We I, miss you last I'm doing, week. I'm doing great. Hey, shout out to Patrick. I appreciate yes. you coming through and holding it down. Um, yeah, ladies, uh, the, you know, hi, hi. I'm supposed <laughs> to wave hi to the camera. <laughs> no, uh, no, thank y'all for uh, holding it down. Um, yes, we did. You know, do, you, do you actually watch the show last week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, a, do you hear what Patrick said? You should take more vacations more often. Is that what he said? <laughs> yes, so he can come and host with us. Got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you, got you. Because what I also heard when I watched uh, the episode is you still putting air quotes around my job description oh his workation like quit yeah. quit air quoting that okay that's a real okay. thing i work in occasion okay understand it I take like your that. hand off your fist <laughs> and your fist off your chin that's exactly <laughs> what i do but we actually had time i uh, mean I don't know. I don't know if you can call it working in those water shoots. Okay, okay. well, I do work the we water see, shoots. Everyone is thing. watching your, your social media network, and they know exactly what I'm talking about. They know exactly that you're not working. You are I don't know who it. everyone see, is. See, I thought it was the, like, rule number one of, like, playing hooky or calling out that, like, if you call out, you're not supposed to, like, post on social media pictures of you at the beach. First of all, um, I didn't call out. Uh, I put it in the calendar so Ginger Savage knows that Quincy will not be here. But, <laughs> but you cannot so, pose. You cannot pose yes, yourself can. on the beach when you're supposed to be working. Let me explain That's something. That's where you, you get the working. Oh, okay. All right. Stop with but the quotes again. Yes. Yes, okay. I have fun. But this is why I have fun because it's very rare. Every year, my family and I, we always go on a spring break uh, vacation, right? Because our yep. daughter's on spring break. But this year, I actually had a contract that was on the same week as her spring break. So I said, hey, you. this is the ultimate Good two for, for one. And we haven't been able to do that since 2019 as far as the cruise and, and getting them out there. So okay. we had a lot of fun. Uh, I sent in a few pictures to, uh, you know, show the fun that we actually had out there on the beach, just having fun. Uh, oh, now this was uh, cool for me. So you, you see That's that, sir. That's your surf. daughter. So, right. So I've been coaching her uh, yes. or assistant co coaching her. And we went to this uh, a beach and, and, and she was timid about playing with these bigger kids and adults and yeah. I said girl if you don't go out there and do what it is you know how to do and exactly. that girl served that ace and it was like uh who, who is that little girl like she's 14 that's she's my 14. child Good my child you. yeah yeah so you encourage your daughter she to was go out there and, and, and do her where were you I want to say that was the uh, that was uh the Bahamas is where we, we we were there on the beach nice. and then there was some other stuff had the yeah that was Aww. us taking pictures oh, together see, enjoying the scenery picture. yeah yeah Ashlyn looked mom. like she was having a lot of fun with oh, yes. yes yeah they was having a ball that was me at the comedy club on the ship getting ready to do my thing See, that's my work. How do you feel doing Jamaica. the comedy show with your family there, sitting in... So they don't come to all my shows. Uh, oh, it, well, because they, they claim they see me already. But my daughter <laughs> told me, and my daughter says, uh, Dad, you ate. So this is a thing that young kids say. So, like, we say, you did good. And my daughter said, Dad, you ate that. And I'm like, oh, yeah. I, I wasn't eating food. I'm like, well, well, I understand you? that term. Right. Yeah, so you I ate had, that. I had like, no idea. you got it. You yeah, ate it. Yeah, you so I was like, oh, thanks. You did like, it good. <laughs> So yeah, we uh, had a lot of fun out, out there. And I got home just in time uh, to witness the greatest thing last week, that, uh, that horrible display of the solar eclipse. Uh, I don't know where y'all <laughs> live. Uh, but that was horrible. Uh, I live in Portland. Maybe, well, maybe because that. I live in Portsmouth. What maybe do you it's mean real. when they want that happen? <laughs> it doesn't but want to come to Portsmouth. Come on. Wait, what, what was terrible Don't say about Don't that about it. P-Town. We're a little you confused. Say. Let me, okay. So everybody is like, ooh, the solar eclipse is going to happen. And so right. I, I got myself ready, right? I okay. went outside okay. and I looked and I'm like, yo, I don't. So honey, I don't see first of anything all, at this point. What's going on with my Quincy, eyes? first of all, the <laughs> cliff takes like a, a, a period of time. It started like at 1.30 uh, p.m. and finished at 4 p.m. What did you watch the, the cliff? All like, I saw was that it got, it got dim outside. No, I didn't put on. Who puts on glasses? I'm uh, able to oh watch it. Oh, my gosh, it. Quincy. Oh. That was the first thing that you need to bought. You, wait a minute. Glasses. Wait, 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 wait. 
You just looked at the sun? Yes. Did actually like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You it's, can't. It's not a problem. Like, my eyes are fine. Like, no, I you... can, I mean, as a matter of fact, I was about to say, I noticed you changed your hair color. I like the brown and I love the red that you got going on. So, red? Red? Uh, good job. No, you um, Okay. I... There's a reason that they told you you should have put on glasses because you can damage your eyes by staring straight at the sun. And not only that, you can't <laughs> see anything without the glasses. You know what? I can see. That's probably why you didn't think the That's eclipse was That's why it is. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you I can see exactly, exactly what I'm talking to um, on the camera. All right, because that's the, exactly. The camera's right here. The camera's oh, right here. Yeah, I got you. Y'all can see exactly. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. How many, how many no, fingers am I holding sure up? That you, have some you know what? Let's, uh, how let's many just fingers move. am I holding up? Huh? How many fingers am I holding up? It looks like you got a thumb and two and two uh, and two pinkies. That's what it looks like. <laughs> it looks like a thumb. No, no, all right. No, no, no. So, <laughs> yes, but um, you know, I got a chance to see all that, and and um, and and I was a little bit upset. Now, also, this is another thing that I'm noticing. I did see it. My eyes are not that bad. Where is my mug? Okay, it was missing the week that I left, and I didn't say anything. And now I'm back and I'm saying, y'all got your mug. Where is my you mug? You know what I think about your mug? I think your mug is traveling like you. You took it with you or she's just going away? No, I, I haven't seen it, so. That's what I'm saying. You always gone, so the mug is gone too. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> your, your mug was like, I'm tired of you taking all these workations. And you and did it again, didn't you? So the mug is trying to go on its own workation. I wonder where the mug is. Yes. Interesting. So mug, yeah. we're gonna mug find if out. you were out there. The we Send us photos of your journey. Yes, please, Mug, whatever you are right now, please send us a picture for next week's show. But and please it's... omit the water shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so we talk about the eclipse. Everybody was uh, posting on social media. I'm, I'm sorry that you couldn't see what happened. It was just a cloud for you. I can't see but now. It's been... <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that, you know, April uh, 22nd is also Earth Day, mm -hmm. and we have such an amazing thing. Uh, Hampton Road Transit will celebrate Earth Day. Guess what they're going to do? They're going to uh, provide um, just the bus, the 757 Express, light rail, ferry, and also the product transit will be free for the entire service day to contribute to the Earth Day. This is amazing. This is HRT is going to be doing that April 22nd. So, wow. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is uh, cool. Help, helping to minimize the emissions yes. of all the other people driving their cars. Exactly. How awesome. That yeah, is so really cool. all do the you, service is free for one day. Do you celebrate Earth so Day? So enjoy, you guys. Huh? Do y'all celebrate Earth Day? Uh, yeah. Yes, I do. What do you do? You know what? Uh, <laughs> next Sunday. <subject. laughs> I think I'm gonna. I don't do nothing do I do? specific. I mean, no. I think I'm gonna take the kids in our backyard and do a picnic. Oh, like enjoy cute. time outside. That is very yeah, cute. Yeah. If you yeah. guys want to join, you're welcome to. You know that. Yeah, but that okay. means that we have to drive over there to do that, so that won't be really represented. I think Earth a cool Day. thing. Go ahead and ride the HRT. <laughs> it's like exactly. Good. good job. Ride the HRT. It's like a it's big free. Cool. <laughs> okay. If right. everybody shares rides, then we we lessen the emissions. Yes, yes, and we get some free food at the same time. So. Count me in. You did say on record that I made you the best sandwich you've ever had. So Man, you killed this. Hey, you killed this. that was the best bologna and cheese sandwich. I've oh ever my had. goodness! <laughs> it, I don't think it was bologna because I don't know if we have that in my house. But anyways, I digress. Mm -hmm. So also happening the weekend prior to Earth Day mm -hmm. is the Portsmouth Invitational Tournament. Nice. Everybody knows the NCAA tournament is now over. UConn, congratulations. South Carolina ladies, congratulations. Yeah. Um, but the PIT, for those of you who don't know, is a tournament where college seniors are invited to compete in front of NBA scouts. It's a long running tournament here in the 757. And this year is promising to be a really, really exciting tournament. I think I'm gonna go out there. Does anybody wanna go with me? Yes. Yeah, um, I've, I've gone once, it's always at Churchland High School. It so is. Shout out to the truckers. Yep, right? it's always um, at Churchland. It's April 17th through yep. the 20th. Um, you can head to the Portsmouth Welcome Center if you wanna get a four pack of tickets and save. The four packs are for all four nights of the tournament. Um, or you can get them at the door. 
Get them at the door, that folks. Awesome. Get out there and check that out. Now, really quick, another thing that you guys can check out, I'm, I'm the he. You ladies ever heard of she crab soup? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. She. So, yeah, it's it's really good uh, uh, crab soup. It so, is crab uh, soup. Now, I love it. It's yeah, awesome. that, is, that is actually happening. It's coming up on 420. Uh, that's uh, April the 20th. And people uh, can Ooh, enjoy yummy. the soup. Like, this all type of stuff. Now, here's a disclaimer. Uh, clearly, if you have any... Uh, food allergies, uh, if you're allergic to any shellfish, uh, don't go, okay? It's <laughs> not for you, all right? But for everyone else, just go out there and just enjoy it. Uh, the proceeds from the alcohol sales that they're gonna have there will be uh, donated or they will benefit the Virginia Legends Walk Foundation. So uh, just something else to do. I, I gotta I know who needs that disclaimer. If you're highly allergic to crabs, don't come to the Crab Soup Classic. Exactly. Like, <laughs> it's the you same people it's who need the disclaimer there. on their coffee. This might be hot. <laughs> and another no. thing, guys, that is coming to Live in Heaven Mall. Do you like to bounce? Like a bounce, bounce? park? Yes. yes. Do you like it? Well, the biggest bounce park is coming to Live in he he Link Heaven Mall outside. Yes. Look at that. It's going to be amazing. This so is the first fun. time coming to our towns here. It's going to be so much fun. If friends and family can have fun, so I love it. Can't wait to see that and be part of the boing, We boing, should go boing, all together boing, and bounce boing. together. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. How, it's, that's going to be so much fun. It and is. we also have a ton of fun planned for y'all on today's show. Yes, we do. We are dining out for life to support the LGBT Life Center. That is right, and also we are done in, um, but also T. Ray, comedian, and actor T. Ray is going to be with Quincy. Oh, yeah, and uh, followed by the uh, soulful uh, soundstress of Anna Phoenix, right? And also coming up next, uh, it's time for us to get in that kitchen. I'm smelling the aroma of some mm. food cooking. Stay right there. Coolest show in town, just getting started right now. Ooh. Don't forget. Welcome back to the coolest show in town. You know, one of my favorite things about the 757 Quincy is that we are such a melting pot and there really is something for everyone. Everyone has a group of people who really feel like their tribe, right? Yeah. And the LGBT Life Center is that and more for so many people and they have a huge event coming up. So we're really excited to welcome their development coordinator, Jan Klein, to talk about it. Hey, Jan. Hey, thanks for having me on. Of course. Yeah. Thank for you for coming here. on. Yeah. yeah. Now, can you tell our viewers more about the LGBT Life Center? Because I feel like a lot of people don't know about this important resource. Uh, our organization has been around for 35 years. Oh, wow. Um, started uh, just in uh, helping people who are living with HIV and prevention of HIV. And now we've grown into many more services. Right. Counseling, housing, uh, transportation, a food pantry. And we're about to launch uh, primary care clinics and pharmacies locally and on the peninsula. Wow, yes. that's huge, it's, congratulations. It, we're the fifth largest LGBT center in the country. Yeah, now right here in Hampton Roads. Yeah, and that's and that's interesting because I know like it's it's been a long time that that, that you you guys have been a part of the community. We're talking mm -hmm. over 21 years, right? Yes. The dining dining out for life in Hampton Roads yes. uh, has raised over what is it like 1.5 million dollars. So that has to be number one a huge impact to the community. So if you can talk yeah. about what that impact has been, and mm -hmm. also uh, talk about the, the I think it's over 45 restaurants is going to be participating yes. in the event that's coming up. Yeah, we are so excited. Um, we have jumped from 17 restaurants up to uh, nearly 50 restaurants yeah. this year. Yes, and the, the concept is simple. We promote these different restaurants as participating in Dining Out for Life. Mm -hmm. It's the 21st year we've done it locally. The event is an international event that's gone on for more than 30 years. Gotcha. And everyone goes out to eat that night to the restaurants that we promote. And the restaurants have decided ahead of time that what they'll do is, is give a donation back to the LGBT Life Center ah. to support our HIV programming and services and prevention. So that's where the impact in the community, in the local Absolutely. community comes from. Yes. A, a lot of the uh, funding we get is from grants, okay. but they're, they're usually restricted. Right. And with a restricted grant, someone falls through the cracks. Someone mm -hmm. has a need, but the grant doesn't quite pay for it. Mm -hmm. And when we yeah. can raise unrestricted funds from the community or from an event like this, yep. it helps fill those gaps so that we can be there for everyone. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yep. we, we saw a few a few pictures up there on the screen, so pretty yep. cool. Yeah, and it takes a good number of people to pull the, yeah. the event off, yes. It definitely does. And we were actually talking before we got started mm -hmm. 
I was an ambassador at one of the locations several years ago at Public House. I don't know if they're coming back or not. They but are. for anyone oh, nice. who's thinking about donating their time, what is the role of the ambassadors in the night of Dining Out for Life? Uh, the ambassadors are really that uh, help us put our best foot forward. Right. We put two ambassadors in every restaurant, and they approach each table, let them know that it's Dining Out for, ni dining out for Life night, and ask them if they're familiar with it, give a little bit of information about the center, and then we also have a free raffle. Oh, night. wow. Yes. And many people also, when they're out to dinner, they give uh, donations as well. Yep. We don't directly ask for it. It's the restaurants that are giving the donations back to us for people going out to eat. Uh, but many people also give donations that night as well. Right. Got gotcha, you. Gotcha. Yep. So, so how can the public get more information about either participating or just knowing how to donate and all that stuff? Too? It's really easy. Get on the website, uh, diningoutforlife.com backslash 757. That'll take you to the list of, of all the restaurants, uh, diningoutforlife.com backslash 757. Or you can go to the lgbtlifecenter.org website and find it through looking for the events page. I love Either that. way. Wow. And I mean, with like 50 restaurants, there's got to yes. be something for everyone. We're in five of the seven cities locally. So we are everywhere all on one night, Thursday, April 25th. I You've got it. breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can go out all day long. Oh, wow. Well, you know what? <laughs> uh, it's a lot, <laughs> lot going on, a lot of food. And we're going to continue because Patricia is with one of the other restaurants that are participating in this awesome event. Yes. That is right, guys. We are here. Continue with the show. And it's not a secret that we all love food. And it's not a better way to go dining and also help our community. And now I'm here with chef and owner Ed Beersley. He is the chef and owner from the Mad Olive. Hi. Welcome to the show. Welcome Thank to Living so 757. Thank you. How are you today? Doing very well. Doing very I'm well. I'm excited for this event, Dining Out for Life, because I want to know everything about it. But before we go there, what we have here because it smells so good, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, this is one of our, our favorites of our, the people that come in the restaurant. Mm. What we're doing is we just start with our regular French toast and we're going to do a berries and cream stuff French toast. Ooh, yummy. So we basically have made a mixture that is like a whipped cheesecake, pretty much. Um, we're going to do some berries in here <laughs> to make it. I love it. I know my yummy. friend Ashley now she's going to be very jealous of me because I'm going to try this. So Good. now, Ed, how long you've been participating on Dining Out for Life? This is the, the fourth year that we've uh, been participating. It's, uh, we had a little uh, break and haven't participated uh, since COVID, but mm -hmm. we're real happy that things are pretty much we feel back to normal and, and happy to participate and help we, as we can. I love that. We've been talking about that. Uh, it's more than 50 restaurants mm -hmm. this year alone. And what a great cause, right? So what are you guys doing this? It's so awesome. Well, it, it, it's really nice because it's, I mean, people love to eat. And, you know, if you're an independent restaurant owner, as I believe everyone that's participating in this is, you know, we owe a lot to the community. Um, the community is what keeps us going. And I mean, that's how we survive. So mm -hmm. whenever we get a chance, or at least for myself, when I get a chance to help out and give back to the community, um, that is definitely something that I welcome doing. I love it. And now we've been talking about that there's many ways that uh, the, the people can participate and contribute to this uh, great cause. So you can go and have breakfast, yeah. just uh, uh, maybe a drink at the bar, dinner, so many ways, right? Right, exactly. Now, for instance, in, in my restaurant, we're open from 7 to 8, uh, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Thursday and every other day of the week. Um, we do our breakfast and, and lunch menu, our brunch menu from 7 to 3. We do dinner from 3 to closing. So. We welcome any meal during the day. We'll help to, to support this cause. I love that. Mm -hmm. And something that you're not just saying is most of the restaurants are being asked to participate and donate like a 20% of the dining bill for that day. You guys are going, go big or go home, 50%. Tell me more about that. Yeah, we, well, I mean, we have the option. You know, we decided that we wanted to give 50%. I mean, it's, again, it's, uh, we support a, a number of organizations in the community. And when we get a chance to support something that we really believe in the cause, we, we want to go as much as we can. Kudos to you, 50%. Mm, oh my God, this is so yummy. It looks so good. A lot of calories for me. Then I had to go to the gym again. Exactly. But right. it's okay. Everything works. So now, uh, where is your restaurant located? It's in downtown Suffolk at okay. 115 North Main Street. Um, there are a couple of other fantastic restaurants that are also participating in this on the 25th. 
um, Harper's Table right across the mm -hmm. street and general public around the corner. So we've got some really great participation in downtown Suffolk as well as the uh, Hampton Roads area. I love that. And this is one of the signature dishes that I Yeah, it's w definitely one of the favorites. So, one of the I mean, favorites. It's going to fill you up <laughs> and it uh, tends to put a smile on everyone's face when they... When I love it. 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 put a smile on me already. <laughs> I'm going to try it, but I don't want to go right now. Oh, look at that. It's so <laughs> awesome. So now, Ed, one more thing. Mm -hmm. um, you guys going to be doing this the, the whole day long. Correct. Uh, this is going to be when? This is on... Uh, uh, I'm trying to think what month April 25th. April 25th on Thursday, uh -huh. yeah, from 7 to 8 p.m. We're going to be so going all day all long. We invite everyone to say hi, stop by. You can just have a breakfast, just a drink, dinner sure. with your friends and family, and we can all contribute for this amazing cause, which I love it. Well, yeah. thank you so much for being with us today on Living 757. And you. before I dig on this dessert that I love it, <laughs> we got to go to commercial break, but coming up next, what else do you do? Do you eat when you dry? Do you? Wear makeup, fix your makeup. Hmm, find out what I do after the break. We're coming back. Welcome back to Living 757. Quincy, question for you. All right. Do you consider yourself a destructive driver? Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Distracted, so, destructive. Guess no. what? Guess, no, guess what? <laughs> Me too. I am a destructive driver. Yeah. But you know that also destructive drivers cause 1.6 million of accidents? I believe it. Okay, April is um, Distracted Driving Awareness Month, and joining us today is attorney Brad Huffman from Huffman & Huffman Brothers in Law to discuss all this, that, which is a very bad number that we have to talk <laughs> about. It. Brad, welcome to the show today. How are you? I'm doing great, thanks. Thanks for having me. Well, yeah. you know what, I have to just say off the top, uh, <laughs> there's this war every time you and your colleagues come on, it's about I know you fashion. Have to say it. I'm distracted, I can't even finish the second. I thought I was doing some things. Your sock game is crazy. I both love of you, both well, of you. Well, you know, no, I thought I was doing something, but his well, I can't compete with you, <laughs> Distraction all the way around. Yes, all, of, all the way. So I was talking about 1.6 million of accidents yes. called by distracted drivers. Yes. What is the number one cause by distracted drivers that they have these accidents brought? It's, it's an easy answer. It's texting. Texting. Ooh. By far. And if you think about it, texting is basically three distractions in one. You've got the manual distraction of holding that cell phone. Right. Mm -hmm. You've got the uh, visual distraction of looking at it. Mm -hmm. And you've got the cognitive distraction, reading that uh, text that's coming in or thinking about how you're going to respond. Mm. So it's a very dangerous distraction. And really, that's the number one that we see, see. in our firm. Yes, I didn't yeah. think about that, but it makes so much sense mm -hmm. because sometimes you're reading something that maybe you don't expect it to read at the time, mm -hmm. and you are in the middle of the traffic. So that situation can change and also make you react different when you're, while you're driving. Now. I don't think, Quincy, you say you are, but... Really? <laughs> I know you consider yourself a good driver, but uh, Brad, we have some videos. I want you to show me to judge Quincy. Let's watch these videos. Okay. Uh, what are you doing, Quincy? You're eating while well, you're yeah, driving? So, so I'm, I'm extremely uh, busy, and I'm a great knee driver, as you can see. Okay, and we I can reach see for right napkins here. with two hands. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So those are just okay. And then you have seven. Well, so sometimes I have them strapped up, but sometimes the dog just wants to breathe. You know, they just want to be out. Oh my god. So goodness. Uh, what do you think, Brad? I mean, I mean, as clearly, I didn't get in an accident. I think uh, you're an accident waiting to happen. That's what I think. <laughs> right. He was Is eating, that using bad. the napkin all at once. Yeah. yeah. Then so, we have another one. So, so, so I have to admit, yes, I am a knee driver every now and again, um, and it's not really texting, but yes, like if I'm trying to grab something to eat and I'm just like, you know what, I can control it. So I, I should be better. And I'm looking at, I don't know what camera I need to look at. It's like, I should this be is better. a really bad scene. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just gotcha. Like, okay, so uh, Patricia, you're, you're not perfect either. Uh, let's throw some of Patricia's uh, videos. Oh, oh my God. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so you no, got no, me. no, don't cover your face because you're not covering it right there. 
oh, look at this, no hands on the steering wheel, <laughs> and, and, you're, and you're looking around. Uh, yeah, wow. so, so let's talk about this situation. How much more dangerous is that, Brad? Yeah, I mean, every time you take your eyes off the road to look into the mirror, I mean, you're creating a really dangerous you know, situation. Yeah. Uh, there was a number that I saw in an uh, article that I read, and it said, imagine driving down the interstate 100 yards blindfolded. Yes. How dangerous that could be. Oh, wow. Yeah. And that, that takes, at 55 miles an hour, yes. that takes 4.6 seconds, which is the average time it takes to read a text. Oh, gotcha. Wow. Got, so, so what are some of the behaviors, really quick, I don't want to run out of time, but what are some of the behaviors that distracted drivers can start to change to be better drivers? Well, they can stop doing it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do they, can stop, they can stop putting the makeup on. I mean, oh, put okay, the makeup on you, before you. you get in the car, uh, eat before notes. you get in the car. Okay. If you have, you have children in yep. the back, make sure they have something to keep them occupied. Gotcha. So they're not distracting you because they can be pretty distracting. For sure. Too, so, so, Brad, also, if someone gets into an accident with a distracted driver, what do they have to do? What is the first thing that they need to do? Well, first thing they should do is call the police and have them come to the scene. Uh, and if they're injured, we recommend that they contact an attorney just so that they know what their rights are and so the attorney can protect them against the insurance company for the other driver, the distracted driver. Right, right. So and when, right. You say, when you call yourself distracted driver and you prove that, how that works? How do you? How, do you how did that work with me and you? <laughs> when it's like, oh, well, yeah, I so, made a mistake. <laughs> so if, if you're driving distracted and you cause an accident, uh -huh. I mean, that, that's a real problem for you because people don't like other people driving distracted. Exactly. That's something they can guys? relate to. We see that one while we're driving. Uh, uh -huh. Well, I mean, yeah. we do know this. Uh, no more <laughs> your info's on screen, but uh, yeah. people can always call the brothers-in-law Huffman and Huffman. I didn't want to sing it today because I'm very upset <laughs> at how distracted <laughs> I was, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys so much. I know that you guys are keeping Hampton Road safe out here with all yes. this information. Thank you, Quincy. I oh, appreciate thank it. You so yeah, much, thanks. Thanks. Thank well, you so much, Well, the one thing that we do know about distracted, drive distracted driving is that it's a very serious topic, right? It is, and we need to get better, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, 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 we need to get better, but I know somebody else whose video we didn't see who I know is very distracted. Somebody named Ashley. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, no, but seriously, one of my toxic traits is that you might find me yelling behind the steering wheel if you're going below the speed limit and or making me late to the Sertoma Spring Fever. And we have Jeffrey Bennett here to tell us all about it. Let's welcome Jeffrey. Hi. How are you doing? Great, great. Now, you are on the board of the Sertoma Club of Norfolk. Yes. Can you yep. tell us about the organization? Yep. Uh, Sertoma Club is a national club. Uh, we have local chapters throughout the country. Ours, uh, the national club focuses on hearing and speech um, uh, for for children so uh, we're a fund fundraising arm we help uh, raise the funds and we give it out to all local charities that that are here locally our local club has been around for about uh, 75 years now I love so that. yep. and I love the cause too um, it's great to help support our children in need yep. Um, now, of course, we're going to get to the fun part. Right. Can you tell me about the Sertoma Spring Fever? Everybody loves a party with a purpose. Exactly. Um, it's exactly what it is. I, I, I describe it as a small, intimate gathering of about 3,000 of my closest friends. So it's, small. you know, it's a good time. Yeah, small. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, it's a great afternoon in April, uh, April 20th this year. Uh, it's noon to six, all you can eat, all you can drink, um, top shelf adult beverages. Um, oh yeah, two bands. We have the janitors and the DeLoreans coming. So nice, nice 80s, uh, you know, songs going yeah. on. Um, all you can eat. We do uh, a lot of the cooking out there, slow roasted beef. Um, we have fish and hush puppies and, and, uh, um, and barbecue and all the fixings. So beer, wine, adult beverages, um, and uh, it's all at uh, one price. You pay to get in, and that's all you have to do. And you can go there and have such a great time, and all of the proceeds benefit, you, you said, hearing and speech and right. children. That's our main focus, but we also give to, to other organizations here locally. Um, our local chapter started the Camp of Paces uh, Girl Scout camp on okay. Granby Street uh, about 60 years ago. Very cool. Um, you know, we still give to them. Uh, we started the Temple of Bone Lab at EVMS. So we did a one-time donation and started that lab that helps doctors learn our, uh, how to do surgery on the ear. Wow. So, um, and we still support that. We do ODU hearing and speech um, uh, clinic. We support that and give out scholarships to ODU uh, grad students every year. That's awesome. Yeah. So. so you guys are really ingrained in the community. Yes. And attending this event 
is something where you can both have fun right. and you can help support that community. So that's exactly. really exciting. Exactly. Do you have a favorite story from a past year? Ooh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> One that's family friendly. Uh, family friendly, yeah. Um, I, I tell you, it's, it's, it's just the, the first time my daughter came with me. So, you know, my daughter grew up around, uh, around these guys, but, you know, it's a 21 and over party. So right. uh, I had her out there every year cleaning up trash the day after, helping set up, um, but she, she didn't get to attend until, until you know, later on in life. So when she actually got to attend with me, that was a, that was a great moment. So that yeah. and like now a she's a member of the, of the club and on the board as well. So, you know, so proud, I love that. proud dad moments. So. Now, where can people find more information and get tickets? Um, on either Facebook or our uh, website, um, which are, are right there because they're kind of long. Uh, so, or just search Norfolk Sertoma Club uh, and that's, that's how you find us. Perfect. Well, yeah. this is Living 757 and we love to have fun here just like you guys <laughs> like to have fun at the Great. Spring Fever. Um, and you guys are having the DeLorean's place. We figured we'd do like an 80s themed game. Let's call my co-host over to get okay. involved in this trivia action. Patricia Quincy, come join us. <laughs> Yay! Hey. Woo! So right. we are Hi. all going to wear a little bit of Something. 80s garb oh, to get gosh. in the spirit. I member, the only member. You are the, the last only member. member. Yeah. And the last member <laughs> of the members only. And cool. this game is going to be an 80s music fill in the blank. Mm -hmm. So for the first time ever, they're giving y'all an advantage. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> Hold up, is it guys versus girls is what it looks no, like? No, everybody, <laughs> we're just going to yell out answers okay. as we know them. All right. I mean, we can make it about all the sexes if you want. <laughs> Uh, all right, so Billy Jean. The kid Jean, is not my son. But what, well, you gotta say the lyrics they, first. They, Be like Billy Jean. Billy Jean. Not my love. No. Okay. Oh, yes, she's just. She's a, a, are you gonna? Cry? I want to dance with somebody. somebody. I want to feel, somebody. Somebody. I wanna I feel the heat with, with somebody. Here you, you go. Wanna feel the oh. Heat? Yeah. Feel okay. The heat this will be the game for Ashley. Every breath, every breath you take, you. every move uh, you make, Rick, every Rick bond you break. I'll be watching if you take. I'll be watching. There you go. Please. I'm thinking of. Uh, uh, you were they thinking they of the other person. Never gonna get you. Oh. <laughs> oh, nope, that's what I was thinking. All right. They can beg and they can plead, but they can't they can see the light. Me. That's right, because the boy with the cold, hard cash. Ooh. I don't know this Well, one. maybe it sounds like a rap. Uh, um, Tone Loke, uh, Funky Cold Medina. Just sit there fast. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know. I just said something right. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. I was, oh, I was always Mr. Right. Always Mr. Right. Madonna. I was yeah. close all the way. I think okay. I was in the middle of the night. night. My father yells. Uh, me Is that a Cindy Lauper song? <laughs> 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 Is that My that father yells at me in the kitchen. No, I don't know. <laughs> when you're going to live your life right. So is right? that a Cindy Lauper? It's Cindy Lauper. Oh, oh, my gosh. You were close. I was close. And I had the song right, just the wrong lyrics. Oh, we're going to rock now. We're going to rock we're going to rock down oh, to oh, Lexi oh, Avenue. Oh, we're going to rock blank, you blank, down blank, 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 blank. Blank, blank. And then we'll take you higher. We'll take from you the higher. top. Oh, the yeah. Yeah. yeah, Eddie Grant. Oh, yes. take it higher. Yes. yes, hold up. I'm getting I'm getting some signs. You don't have, you to, don't be have to be rich, 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 rich to be my, my girl. girl. You oh, you Prince. Have to Prince, be kiss. To kiss. Rule my world. And ain't, ain't no particular, particular sign I'm more compatible with. I, I just want yo, extra time in your bigger, 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 bigger. I want to know if the bigger, 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 bigger was in there. That's the good thing. Yeah, I don't know about that. I mean, Nick understands what I did. <laughs> this is small town girl. Even in the lonely world, she like, took the midnight train yes, going. Yes, she's the midnight train. A journey, yes. 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 I love that song, actually. Okay, you know, I need y'all to halfway. sing and stop <laughs> reading the words. Sing it. I want to hear this voice. Oh, we can. Well, we're halfway there. <laughs> well, <laughs> living on a prayer. My Take my hand oh. and we'll make it, I swear. Oh, yeah, we'll make it, I swear. Yeah, Bon Jovi. Living on a prayer. Well, sing it. Like, whoa, we were doing, whoa, we were there we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, we got another one. Oh my goodness! I think I think that was actually it. We went through that really fast. Yes, yes, yes. it was. So really between fun. us, we yeah. knew the songs. We would have made a really great team. Right. There you go. Yeah, 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 I think so. Yeah. Um, I didn't I hear you participate. No, so, I did. Not. So I let you guys do that. You know, that's, <laughs> that was on y'all. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Well, thank you so much, my man, yeah. for, for being here. Right. And we yeah. got to go to commercial break. Um, coming up next, um, yeah, it'll be right there up on the screen. <laughs> uh, because I cannot remember. I got lyrics all in my head. Yes, we got, uh, yes, right the the we got Buddy from the Spotlight. We got T Ray. Don't go away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Mr. Jones. <laughs> My car got 480,190 miles on it. My car is exhausted. My car is sleepy. It's outside right now doing this right here. <laughs> you know your car tired, it's leaning on other cars. Guys, that was a hilarious. T. Ray Sanders was actually on his way uh, soon to the Virginia Beach area to perform at the Quality Comedy Series. He's headlining that. That's at Dave and Buster's in Virginia Beach. Of course, welcome back to Living 757. Now, um, he's coming to this area to bring some much needed Southern slash smart laughing humor. So can't wait to have him on the show, but we got him here right now. So what's happening, T. Ray? What's going on, man? What's up, bro? How y'all doing? Virginia, how y'all everybody doing? Well, you know what? Uh, it's just me talking to you, so you, you can't ask for everybody else, man, you know? <laughs> I got, oh, I got... I'm just being, you know, being hospitable. <laughs> That's your Southern charm. I got you. So I got to ask off the top, okay, I see that you got the reading glasses. Are those prescription, or, you know, or, or not? Yeah, they prescription. You see how thick my glasses? Look how thick they are. You see that? <laughs> oh, man. I can see next week. <laughs> <laughs> I got on nice. fish aquariums. Nice, nice. Now, okay, so I have to ask you, man, uh, this car that you're driving, is it going to make it to Virginia? Like, that's the real question. Uh, that's a nine-hour drive, bro. It better make it. I make the payments. You make it. You still make it pay. 400,000. Okay, how many yeah. miles does the car have as of today? <laughs> For real, it really has 480,000 miles, and it's a 2020 Toyota uh, Corolla. Oh, my God. Yeah, you are what we call a true on-the-road comic man. Uh, now, okay, so what does the T stand for in T-Ray? The T stands for Thomas Ray Sanders. Thomas Ray, so not Terrible Ray, not nope. Tumultuous Ray. N nope. <laughs> <laughs> Not tickle me right. Well, well for the women. Tickle me, right. <laughs> tickle me right. Well, you know what? It should be plenty of them out there to come catch you. Now, I got to ask, there's a lot of people who may not have uh, uh, um, known about you and your name. You've been in the business for over 30 years, man. Uh, but you also have some t some uh, some movie credits. But, like, you was in the movie Stomp the Yard. You was also in the movie, or you made appearances in these movies uh, uh, as well as Pitch Perfect, man. Uh, got to ask you, uh, which set was more fun to be on? Because Stump the Yard, they're dancing and doing stuff, and then Pitch Perfect, they're dancing and singing. Yeah, you know, my, my the favorite one was Stump the Yard because I'm in a fraternity, uh, Cap Alpha Psi, Yo-Yo, and I can relate to it more, and uh, yeah, that's just what, Stump the Yard was the best. Yeah, no, because I know, like, um, Anna Kendrick was in Pitch Perfect, uh, and I had no idea that she, she could sing, but, but also another VA representative, if I can even say say that, uh, Chris Breezy was also Chris Breezy, Neo, all those guys were also in Stomp the Yard. So did, did you get a chance to uh, meet any of them? No way. They kept us away from them <laughs> as far as possible. <laughs> so you said hands off. <laughs> don't 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 do anything now uh because of course in stomp the yard like that 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 iconic scene where the guy slides like on his elbow or something and that was what won the competition so where were you there on the taping day when when they did that yeah i was there cheering him on yeah oh hold up so he 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 really did that on his elbow he really did that on his elbow. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I thought that was tricks all the way. Well, uh, you know, I learned something today. So there is no tricks about you coming down here to the Quality Comedy Series, man. It's, it's, it's an all-clean adult platform. It's a lot of fun to Dave and Buster's. People play video games and, and all that stuff after the show. So what do you have planned in, you know, in store for these Virginians coming from the ATL? Heavy, back-to-back, -back, consistent laughter. Ooh. I'm talking about grab your thigh. Laugh. Hold your stomach. Laugh. <laughs> grab your thigh. Hold up, bro. Like, like, is there any need to grab thighs at this point, bro? Like, it's just laughing. I mean, uh, I mean I'm country, so I, I meant to say your side. <laughs> <laughs> your sides. Man, that's like, that's like uh, all the types of chicken boxes that you can get thighs, sides, legs, uh, breasts, and all types of stuff. Now, um, where where can people go to contact you? Because I know that, uh, I don't know if you have any projects that's coming up, because um, you travel all over the United States, man. 
Yeah, uh, my, my Facebook is T dash Ray Sanders, T dash R A Y Sanders. Instagram, T as in Tom underscore Ray Sanders. And I got a lot of movies coming up that I'm in. Oh, a lot of movies. But I'm not bragging because they, they, they background. Oh, okay. All right. So you got your movies coming up, and that's cool. Some of us is just trying to get in the movie, bro. So I appreciate you. Can you slide me a little, a little hookup, and let me be yeah, an extra? Yeah, it's a full time extra. <laughs> Gotcha, gotcha. Well, look, man, I can't wait to see you when you get here Thursday, the 18th of April. Thursday, the 18th of April, we are going to be laughing. We are going to be, uh, uh, you know, just having a lot of fun, prizes and everything at Dave & Buster's. You guys don't want to miss it. Uh, scan that QR code on your TV right now. You can get your advanced tickets, which comes with an unlimited game card for the rest of the night. T-Ray, make sure you and your 400,000 miles make it here safely, okay, on, on Thursday, all right? I got you, bro. I'll see you all loud and clear. All right, my man, be safe. Cool, cool. Well, uh, you know, it's clear laughter, uh, well, comedy brings us together via laughter, but um, music also brings people together as well. And uh, Patricia, Ashley, uh, who's bringing us together today? That is right, Quincy, thank you. Uh, he's still trying to make it in a movie, you see, Ashley? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do. I know. Our next guest, she is beautiful, vocalist, composer, Everything, what I can say about her. We're gonna learn everything about Anna. Welcome to the show. How are you Thank today? You. I'm well, how are you? So excited to have you with us today. You're so beautiful. Thank and you. And I wanna ask you something. I know you're gonna prepare a song. You're gonna perform it for us later on the show. What is the name of the song and what does that mean for you? It's called Swan Dance. And, Swan um, Dance. It was inspired by um, swans. You know, they, they're supposed to mate for life. I read that they mate for life and I, that kind of, um, inspired some lyrics, and um, I produced the song myself. I also played the instrument, so that's what I'll be preparing and performing today, Swan Dance. Oh, Swan Dance. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. I love that. And you and I have something in common. We have both worked with the artist formerly known as Malice, now known as No Malice. Really? <laughs> yes, I was in a music video for him way back in the day. Awesome. So what was your experience like working with him? He's actually a really close friend of my family. He is. And um, wow. we connect on so many levels. Um, yep. First, artistry, yep. but also faith. Like, we have deep conversations Same. about the Bible. Yes. Oh, we have wow. deep conversation about lyrics. Really close to my family. Absolutely. Yeah, he's a great guy. Yes. So how long have you been doing music, Anna? Because you look such young. Well, <laughs> music has always been in my household. Okay. So it kind of just soaked into my subconscious growing up. And um, I intuitively picked up instruments, started oh. composing and producing. Um, it became a place of solitude for me, and it still is to this day. I tend to produce independently, but I'm also open to collaborations as well. That is awesome, and you do that all, like you compose, you sing, and now, how do you describe your style? It's like the music that you do. Well, it's super eclectic, and I like to call it hyper, highly dimensional music. I like to call it highly okay. dimensional music okay. because um, it's, it has a lot of depth and nuance, and I think everybody has a lot of depth and nuance, and um, I like to put that into what I do and add that into my artistry. I like that. Me too. And I'm secretly like fangirling over here because I read that you had a song on Disney radio. I did. <laughs> I am obsessed with Disney. Wow. <laughs> so what song was it and what was that process like? Because it was a while back, right? Yes, it was a while back. Um, I did Clay Aiken's Invincible. Invisible, I'm sorry. I did Clay Aiken's Invisible, my own rendition of it. And I actually won a competition um, ah. right here in Virginia. I did the audition at Greenbrier Mall. Okay. And um, I won the regionals, and then I went to the nationals, and I ended up recording. They flew my family out to California. Oh my goodness. Yeah, How and that cool was really that? cool. It was super cool. Oh, That's wow. so exciting. Ah! So you also collab with so many people in the industry, but uh, you work with uh, Woody Main. What was that experience, and what is coming next for you? Well, actually, he recorded in his studio. I recorded in my studio, so there wasn't a lot of interaction there. Okay. But it was definitely an, a, an awesome vibe, so I enjoyed that. What I have next is a lot of, a whole lot more <laughs> dimensional music. Okay. Um, I'm working on a new collection of music right now, and um, also looking to produce other artists and produce, um, contribute some music Ooh. to other forms of media. And um, yes, lots of interesting things happening. That is so beautiful and exciting. We can't wait to see your performance later on the show. Now, if people want to reach out to you, how they can contact you? Well, 
<laughs> you can find me at my website, Anna Phoenix. That's Anna with one N, Phoenix with two X's, AnnaPhoenix.com. And you can also find me on Instagram at Anna Phoenix Official. Also, I'll be at Brothers Restaurant performing on May the 17th and May the 25th. Ah, right. Yay! Well, thank you so much for joining us. And we have to take a quick break, but do not move from your seats. When we come back, this beauty's taking the stage. Yes. That is so awesome. <laughs> Welcome back to Living 757. We have had such a fun show today, y'all. It was good to have you back. Q. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, uh, it was a jam-packed show that we had today. Oh, and and um, so you, you remember at, at the top of the show, we were just talk, talking about our trip. So what I forgot to mention was uh, my daughter lost her Apple Watch. Oh, which no. Was something that she had to pay for. Oh, no. So we had to teach her the responsibility. Hey, if you that's lost it, big loss. that's your money. You mm, know what I mean? Yeah, um, so big she, loss. Amazing how she didn't really lose her mind as much because she knew it was her money. But good news, uh, they let us know that they actually found no the watch because I reached out what? to them. So wait, 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 yeah. wait. When, when she was playing volleyball in no, no, Bahamas, no, 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 no. She, she actually lost it on the on ship. The, on the yeah. ship. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so when we pinged it, it still showed it in between, like in the middle of a body of water, in, in between oh some, some, some land. And, and that same ship is on its way over to Italy. Ooh. So, <laughs> yeah, so, but they let me know that they found it, so I had to verify it. So, oh Ashlyn, goodness. we got your watch. Yay! Yeah! Yeah. Wait, wait, wait yeah. a minute, so you pinged it, and it basically said she lost it in the middle of the ocean somewhere. Right. You want to hear something funny? What's up? So, you know, my husband, Keith, works on cranes while yeah. he does marine construction. Yeah. So, half the time, if I look at his location, it says that he's somewhere in the middle of a body of water here in the 757. <laughs> <laughs> Keith is I momentarily buddy. panic Keith, every time. Like, where are you? I'm on a barge. But, okay. <laughs> but you know that what happened to you, Quincy, doesn't happen often. I don't think anybody that I lose an eye watch is going to find it like that, mm -hmm. especially in a cruise ship that yeah. is yeah. so many people. So, I appreciate yeah. all the honest people because an Apple Watch or yeah. any any yes. device really, any no, device nobody has to return it. So to turn it know, back, it yeah, could be a good. big thing. So, uh, I but know. that's great karma. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, it's good karma. You know, I would like to think. Now, what's also good is uh, if you guys are looking for some extra fun to uh, to to be had, if you like big trucks like the monster trucks, have, have y'all ever gone? Monster, I love them. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So you got to make sure you wear them earplugs because those monster trucks are going to be uh, coming up pretty soon. It's called the Monster Jam. Now, this is happening. I believe it's happening on uh, April the 19th through the 21st. So you don't want to miss it. If you've never been out there, uh, bring the kids, the family. I think the tickets are starting at $15. And, uh, yeah. And it's, it's at the Hampton Coliseum. That's yeah. what yes. I definitely want to take Adrian to. He is obsessed with the Grave Digger. Yeah. He even yeah. has oh, a mini I think that's Grave Digger. I think that's the one of the favorite of the kids yeah. love the Grave Digger. And he's in North Carolina. If you go there, you can see his truck. Oh, right yeah. There. Yep. Yes. Don't forget to follow us, folks. Uh, that's the end of the show. You can yep. follow us on all of our social medias. Uh, and also, you can follow the show as well. It should be a QR code for you guys to scan. And, uh, we'll that is also, right. Yeah. yeah. And you can always send ideas for segments to that email at the bottom of your screen. Share at living757.com. There we go. Yes. And now, before we say goodbye, we're going to leave you with a beautiful voice, vocalist and voice, Anna. See you next week. To you, love is me, love. You're everything I wanna be, love. Boy, it's keeping me from you, love. It's only me and you I see, love. It's the choreography of a swan dance to still stance in a pause glance. The clearest access to the headphones in a swan dance. Is it you, love is me? See love, you see you love as a myth You love as me love La 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 la
You love isn't me, love. What's the hold up with you and me, love? What's between us isn't me, love. Is it you love isn't me, love? You love isn't me, love. Everything I wanna say, love. Snowflakes on the mountain Formation without it And it's plenty as fountain Cleaning up all the marshland Why does love ring like the beavers? Good for you like the peach fuzz You love isn't me Love isn't you Love isn't me Love Choreography of a swan dance To still stand in a pool's glance We expand access to the heavens In a swan dance Access to the headphones in a swan. 